Hi you guys, this is Rachel Kirkland here, the Modern Shaman. Thank you for being with me for another YouTube question and answer time of the week. If you're new to the channel, I'm glad you're here. I love your energy. Connect with me in any way that um, you feel resonant, any way that you want to connect with me. I would love to get to know you in a way that feels like it's beyond just you watching these videos. <laughs> Really, the best way to connect is on my website, themodernshaman.net. So you can have sessions, personal sessions. You can check out my touring schedule and come see me when I'm in your area. If you don't want to do the personal sessions on the phone or Skype, um, you can also learn more. My teaching academy online and um, the video webinars and all sorts of information there. It's all available on the website, themodernshaman.net. All right, here's the question sent in for this week. It says, hi Rachel, I love this channel. I have literally, oh you, have literally changed my life. I can't take that credit, but I'm glad that your life <laughs> has changed. I used to feel overwhelmed by energies and now I know how to talk to spirits and have control. That's awesome. That is, that does make me feel um, grateful for utilizing this avenue and uh, platform to connect with you. So thank you for saying that. Okay, where was I? My question is about doubting myself. I'm now using my gifts as a healer, but I still struggle with doubt and nervousness. Do I need to work more on my solar plexus chakra and build my self-confidence before I work on others? The healings are always very powerful, but I just struggle with this doubt and wondering if I should be healing them while I'm still doubting myself? Hmm. Great question. Y'all send in great questions. I feel like, I know I say that all the time, like, oh, this is a great question, but the reason I say that is because in my mentorships, in my um, teaching and working with clients and helping people develop themselves, in their gifts and stand in it and utilize it for their own entrepreneurial work or whatever it may be that they're doing, even their own personal healing. This question comes up a lot. So that's why I say great question because I feel like you may not realize it, but um, there's a universal space that this applies to. And I feel like so many people can take from your question and will benefit from you speaking up and sharing your story. So thank you for that. And re really, um, I'm, I'm doing a mentorship this week, and um, so that's another thing I offer is private mentorships, and typically these are people that really want to dive into the work. They want deep healing, deep clearing, and deep empowerment, standing in their sense of self, standing in their own psychic gifts, feeling confidence in it. So the mentorships are always a little bit di different. Um, for each person because they're catered to their intentions for why why they're wanting the mentorship but it's funny the mentorship that I'm doing this week is a week-long mentorship and just today he was asking these same questions and we were working through these same issues in his life with the sense of um, what I would say is doubt versus humility and we were talking about this concept and kind of developing an understanding and grappling with how this feels energetically and how to know the difference between simply being humble and retaining a sense of that humility in your craft, in your business, in your work, while at the same time standing in the confidence of your authority and your sovereign ability as a healer. So super relevant and useful <laughs> for everyone. As a takeaway from this video. Okay, there is a difference between humility and self-doubt. So recognize that difference. There's a vibrational difference. Like it will literally feel different. There's a frequency that's different here. So humility has a space that recognize that the power doesn't come from you. I don't care how many classes you've taken, how many techniques you've studied, how brilliant you are in terms of your level of intelligence. Our cognition just simply can't compete with the all-knowing, <laughs> with spirit, with the eternal intelligence, 
with the omniscient awareness. No, our human cognition simply can't compete. So it doesn't matter how much you've stacked up in terms of um, your processes and how many workshops you've been to. That's just a lot of tools to have in your tool belt. And that gives you a sense of maybe personal confidence in the solar plexus, right? But when it comes to being in the presence of God, you want to just lay on your face most of the time. When you feel the coursing energy of spirit moving through your hands, when you are healing a client, there is just an evident level of humility that literally wants to lie prostrate. You, you just, you're in awe of the energy that's moving through you. And that is absolutely relevant, should absolutely be there, and is good, like hearty. That is an amazing sense of balance within your capacity to flow the energy of love and light and high, high, high vibrational resonance through yourself as a conduit. And it will feel incredibly um, <laughs> humble. Like you, you will, not necessarily that you'll feel humiliated, but you will feel in, in, a, in, you feel in awe, in wonder. You feel grateful. This is often the energy that I'm in when I'm performing a healing. There is the same level at the same time in one instant where I still feel absolutely sovereign in the power that's coursing through me that I'm asking to come in and that I'm lining up with wholeheartedly to be used in that moment for their ultimate 100% capacity healing. And yet at the same time, I am absolutely aware that this does not come from the knowledge in this lifetime. This does not come from the knowledge in a million lifetimes. This is the coursing energy of ultimate love, of, of, of the source of the divine. And so when you're at that level, I'm sorry, I know I'm like uh, <laughs> feeling the energy right now and, and feeling that um, it's just amplifying me. But all that being said, you should feel humble. That is absolutely relevant. And I would say, I would be concerned if you didn't. If you came in there all big in the ego of like, I've done this a million times, I know what to do. You just lay it down and don't worry about it. I'll just cure that stage four cancer. I know how to do this, blah, blah, blah. That's ego. That's the space of the human that thinks that they are performing miracles. When you get to that level, if you get to that point, there's a cause for concern. There's a cause to look at your own assumptions. To me, that's just knocking on the door, just waiting to get smacked by spirit. You know, you don't know enough. No, you don't know what you're doing. In my experience, anytime we come up like that, from a space of ego of like, I know what to do. Just back out the way, let me walk on through like the sheriff's in town. When we come with that energy, spirit just says, oh no, 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 honey. No, 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 no. No, you don't. <laughs> and that's when we experience the real sense of humiliation that's painful. The kind of humility I'm talking about is awe-inspiring, is wonder-inducing. You just marvel at the ability that spirit has to course through your body as a living conduit and valve to flow that healing to your client. So my first piece of advice is absolutely stay in your humility and recognize that that is good, that there is nothing wrong with your awareness that you are capable of doing it on your own. That is a beautiful space to be in. And spirit will absolutely use you. And it sounds like spirit's doing that. You said in your statement at the very end, and I quote you, the healings are always very powerful, but I struggle with the doubt. And I'll just share with you person to person, healer to healer. 
I always feel that way. I always still feel that, who am I? My little Rachel self. Um, and, or skeptic self of like, what in the world? I would never uh, in a million years have thought that I'd be doing what I'm doing, but, it, but it's here. And I'm gonna get emotional for that. The one thing that I do feel like you really have to step into is your willingness to be used a hundred percent. And when you, oh, I'm just feeling it, but when you come from that space of like whatever it takes, I don't care how stupid I look. I don't care what you want to say to them. I don't care what you need to do with my hands, what I need to spit out of my mouth. I don't care because it's not about me. It's about that person that needs the healing. And when you're in that space, you are standing 100% in your power of sovereignty. It's not weak. It's not weak. Humility is not weak. It's recognizing and calling in the power that is beyond you, that is absolutely available to anyone that is willing to be that 100% conduit and purity and love and aligning with that healing. And when you stand in that space of sovereignty, it says, I am showing up 100% for this healing, but I'm not showing up in my own ego of intelligence or all the classes I've been to. If spirit wants to use that, then they'll use that. They'll pull from the tool belt that I've learned and all the classes I've been to. And whatever is relevant, whatever this person needs, use anything I have. Use anything I don't know that I have. Use all of it because I am 100% available for this healing. Using my intelligence, using my body, using my anything subconscious that I don't even know exists. So you do stand in a space of power, but it's not an ego. It's that you show up 100% in your willingness to be used. And that humility, like I said, is not weak. It's extremely powerful. And you'll feel it come through you. You'll recognize it. Like, holy smokes. I couldn't call in this many angels on myself. Like, they're coming in. I'm open, and they are pouring in. But you do have to have a level of showing up 100%, bringing yourself to the table. Show up. But it doesn't mean that you know exactly how spirit's gonna do it. You leave room for that mystery. You leave room for the higher intelligence, for the higher knowledge, for the higher awareness to always trump what you have learned in your classes, to take uh, you beyond the knowledge that is conceivable to you. So the last thing that I wanna say is that, um, really, I just, I just wanna say it's all good. Like, you, you don't need to fix it. You are evolutionary and you will always be working on you and you will always be if you're growing you'll always be having experiences that feel like they're on a precipice they're on the cutting edge they're beyond you you don't know how to deal with it you've never seen this before you've never been here before that's good <laughs> that's good that's evolution that's growth right and in the awareness of our soul that's hardy growth that's thriving that's ripeness that's bounty. So get used to that feeling <laughs> of doubt. Make peace with it. Make peace with the fact that, hey, this client's coming in and they're asking me to do something that I have no idea how spirit's going to show up and do it. I have a lot of tools. I've been to a lot of classes. I've done this a million times. And yet I know enough to know that I don't know everything. But I'll show up and I will be absolutely truthful and absolutely transparent. And I will let whatever comes through for the highest good of my client in that moment for that healing come through in the most absolute way that I know possible. And I'll give gratitude for every bit of it.
So yeah, I hope that helped you. I hope that gave you a bit of peace with your process as a healer. It's not so much about self-confidence as, uh, as it is the, the purity of your heart. For your heart is pure in your intention for why you're offering the healing, why you're showing up. And that purity will open up that valve. <laughs> And you'll be a living conduit of that divine healing energy. And you won't have anything but gratitude and awe and inspiration. Now, I mean, I know I said it at the beginning of this video, but I, that's how I often feel. I'm often just absolutely in tears of gratitude. I feel so grateful and humble to be used in the way that I'm used. And I trust that if there's ever something that needs to be worked on within me or within your solar plexus, then Spirit will simply say that and draw your attention to it. And you can do that, work on that, clear it out from your solar plexus and give yourself a sense of worthiness. You can feel absolutely worthy to be yourself in recognition of loving who you are, loving your life, loving the use of your gifts. And at the same time, be completely humble and in awe of what comes through you. There's the paradox of spirit. And it is multifaceted. It can be both. And you can stand in your sovereignty and your truth and your confidence and humility all at once. Much love to you guys. We'll be back here next week with another video.